Welcome back. Our next guest is part of a star-studded cast, a show called Way Over Me, Sortez-moi de moi. This is a psychological thriller that takes you inside the world of emergency frontline mental health care. Joining us now, Sophie Lorrain from the show. Bienvenue. Welcome to The Social. Thank you very much. Merci. We're very excited to be speaking with you. And in the show, you play an emergency, emergency care frontline worker named Clara saint Amand. What can you tell exactly. us about her? Well, she's a social worker uh, who's been doing this kind of work for years, and she's now part of a small uh, unit of responders who are um, acting on a mental health crisis. As you probably know, uh, nowadays, 80% um, of the um, uh, police officers' work consists of uh, of trying to help on these crises, and they have no formation whatsoever to do that. So more and more, they are having, you know, uh, the help of social workers or nurses to help them out on these crises. And there are now in Montreal small units who are doing this kind of work, and that's what Clara Saint-Amand does. You are not only one of the stars of the show, but you also helped create the idea for the show, which is phenomenal. So take us through how it came to be. Oh, that's quite a story in itself. Uh, well, uh, uh, Alexis Durambro, who is the director of, uh, of the series, and I had, uh, we, we saw this clip in the newspaper one day, which uh, was just another, oh, a picture that looked like another crime scene. There were police officers, uh, people screaming, you know, bystander, people hanging around the scenes and the cops. And there was this guy and this girl who, who were there just taking notes and, and looking very concerned. And we thought, who are these people? And we read the article and that's when we found out about the, these small um, um, frontline uh, responders who are helping out police officers in, in uh, health crisis emergencies. And we thought uh, it, it would be interesting to write about these people. And what happens when those people are uh, in trouble themselves? Because, you know, life goes on and, and uh, you do have personal problems in your life. And, and what happens when you, you have to work with people in mental health crisis? And are you contaminated by that? Or, or how porous is the experience? Sophie, like so many other shows, production was um, halted because of the pandemic. But you guys worked closely with health officials to resume filming and get the show back up and running. Why was it important to do so? Well, we're a small company and we want to work. <laughs> Basically, that's <laughs> what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It's the need that made us active. And uh, when, every, uh, when the whole industry shut down, we, we actually uh, you know, got ourselves together and we started pressuring the, the government basically to get back into uh, into work uh, to work and uh, we saw in different countries around the world that there were some protocols that could be followed that could be safe and that we could do you know as well in in Montreal so uh, we pushed it that way we wanted to pass on our huge congratulations felicitations because this is the first french crave original series that is available to both French and English audiences as well. What does this mean to you, the cast, the show, to have the show open up to such a wider audience now? It's it's extraordinary, and it's an opportunity for every creator in in you know not only in Montreal or in Quebec, but across Canada as well, because mm -hmm. it's about time that we get to see each other's work, you know. Yes. And one thing, one positive thing about the pandemic is that it has uh, used us uh, to to um, to to hear the series or, or films or whatever that is produced in foreign languages and to follow subtitles and, you know, to be uh, comfortable with it. Sophie, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. And don't forget, you can watch Way Over Me on Crave right now.